What's up, people? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some Forza Horizon 4. Welcome to another wheel spin drift build. And uh, yeah, let's just get started with the video. <laughs> now, if you guys are new to the channel, of course, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on other social media links. The deals are down below, but especially the subscribe thing. I'm trying to reach a goal of 420,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So I think that'll be kind of, uh, kind of nice for you guys to subscribe. Plus, it helps you guys keep up to date with any of the new content that's coming out on the channel. But yeah, anyway, let's get back to this video. Right, so in this one, I'm going to do things slightly different. I've had a couple of suggestions down in the comments, as usual. If you guys have suggestions, you know, put them down in the comments. Uh, but yeah, I've had a couple of suggestions down there. So I was like, you know what? Let's just take this one into account and see where it goes and how it works. So I have a couple of wheel spins here. Actually, I have a few of them, a good few of them. I think I'm going to use a normal wheel spin in today's video. And what people have said is, when I get the car, use the budget, uh, or use the amount that the car is worth when I try to sell it as the budget. So this is how it's going to work. I do the wheel spin, I get a car, when I go to collect it, because I already have the car added into my garage, it will give me the- Ooh, an M5! Oh, that's nice. And now it gives me the option to try sell it because it's a duplicate car because I already have it and it's worth 15 grand. And that is going to be my budget for this video. That's 15,000 credits. Or sorry, not for this video, but for this car specifically. Um, <laughs> not sure if it's enough. 15 grand to do a drift build. I mean, to be honest, it's an M5. So this thing's stock. I think it should be. I have two of them now, by the way, which I think I put zero miles on them. I think I should be able to. Or people, I don't know if it's like when it comes to sell it or the amount that it's worth in my garage because in my garage it's actually worth more, it's worth 30 grand. But I'll do the 15 grand because I think it's going to be a little bit more of a of a challenge if I do it like that. But yeah, like I said, this is already an M5, already rear wheel drive. I actually saw one of these the other day. Sounds so good on the road. So, so good. It's a little bit more muffled than this. It's not as, as shouty as this. I forgot I wasn't actually doing the drift zone. Oh my god, it's just another M5 going downhill. What the hell? <laughs> what are the chances? What are the chances? I like these. I really, really like these a lot. This was like such an like understated car. Like the M Sport version of this car is so it's almost fully identical to this. I think it doesn't change much from the end sport to this. I think the front bumper is pretty much the same, if I remember correctly. Obviously, it has the quad tailpipes at the back and, you know, the positioning of the exhaust and stuff, that, stuff like that changes slightly for that rear bumper. But I think everything else obviously has the bespoke wheels. But I think everything else that's just on the M sport version of the car, and then here, obviously, instead of saying M5, it just says M. It's pretty much the same. I think. People will correct me, but I, I'm going to say it's pretty much the same. It's so weird that they added the American version of the M5. Like, even the play at the back is, like, tiny. But yeah, they added the American version of the M5 in a game that's set in the UK. Or Scotland. A bit weird. Anyway, let's drive this thing completely stock. I'll take it downhill. I want to see what it's like. And then, obviously, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it. I mean, we only have 15 grand worth of upgrades, but... We'll see. Let's see what we can do. It is struggling. Is that guy cheating? I saw he was just standing completely still, then he just shot down the hill. Or is he just lagging? Maybe he's just lagging. It can break traction. Just not enough. It's not enough. I feel like it's... Okay. I mean, it is raining as well, so I feel like this should help me, but it's not really. Yeah, I think this definitely needs more power. I mean, we have 15 grand to play with. I don't know how much I can actually do to this. I definitely want to do a diff and maybe, maybe, maybe drift suspension. Hello, fellow M5. I spun out. I spun out. 
again, just try to oversteer with it. It's fine. But I think... I think... Oh my god, it's so slow. Go faster. I think this thing only has about like 300 and something horsepower. Am I right in saying that? Oh, I'm struggling. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of slow. I feel like this is where uh, having uh, having a clutch would be nice. I hate driving with clutch on control, but I feel like this car definitely needs it, especially if I'm if I'm to drift the stock. Nice clutch kick here and there. It's definitely good for this. Yeah, I'm I'm not even pulling two hundred thousand points. I definitely could, but yeah, it's it's struggling. It's it's definitely struggling it, with power, especially. It's just not it's not doing great. Anyway, let's bring it over to the festival. And let's fix that problem. Of course, um, I'm gonna keep the tires the way they are. Fifteen grand, like I said, it's not a lot of money to play around with. Let's see if I can get this thing to be completely different though with fifteen thousand credits. Obviously, I can just do a nice turbo upgrade for this thing. Three ninety four horsepower. We can bring it to four eighty nine, which is you know. Adding a couple turbos to it, which I think I'm gonna do. It'll be good to have a little bit more power to uh, adding a little bit more power to it. I'm gonna definitely get the diff upgrade and the drift suspension if it has it. It definitely has it, yeah. And uh, now, I mean, we waste. We've spent. I was about to say we wasted, but we spent six k. Makes about five hundred horsepower. Is eight k? I feel like this sh this has got to be a very good car. I'm going to bring the track with the front wheels out and the rear wheels out as well. We're on 9,000 so far. Again, it doesn't have a huge amount of power. Um, Trist suspension is definitely going to allow me to mess around with my wheels. Maybe. See, I'm here thinking. Obviously, I can't put drag tires on it. If I put these on, I'd be spending a lot of money for these uh, street tires. So I was thinking, what if I put street tires and just give it more power? I think I'll be able to, to, you know, drive a little bit better. But what if I just get the tires in the back to be wider? 3,600 for that. The thing is, I know it was struggling for grip there, but I added pretty much an extra 100 horsepower. Or I will be adding an extra 100 horsepower, at least, um, to this thing. Or I could just get it to be lighter. Because I still feel... Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I've already done that. But obviously with the upgrades, I can still get it to be even lighter than what it is now. Even with stuff like this. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What if I just upgrade my turbos? It's another 5,000. So that's almost a six... It's almost 600 horsepower. If I do this. Or 12,650. Hmm. Kind of interesting. I'll upgrade my clutch. I think I'll do that. That's my final thing. I think I'll do that. I think we should be fine now. I think the gear ratios were fine. 14,900. Pretty much. Pretty much dead on. With our budget. We're now at the top of A-class. Our power is just... Almost doubled. <laughs> almost. Actually, no, it hasn't. Um, but yeah. We got up an, an extra 200 horsepower. And we've lost... 320, 340 kilos, almost. Or just a little over 340 kilos. It's mad. This is, I feel like this is going to be a good car. The only thing I'm going to do at the moment, without doing anything else to this car, is just lock it a diff, and that's it. So everything else I'm going to leave the way it is. Um, Yeah, I think the gear ratios are fine as well. Yeah, I'm going to leave this the way it is now, and I'm going to drive it without a tune, just with the upgrades and see what it's like. And then... I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> it's like a completely different car. It's completely different. I mean, what is there to say? Adding that power to it is exactly what it needed. It's just constantly sideways now. Okay, we've completely transformed... 15 grand! 15,000 credits, and we completely transformed this car. Completely. That is crazy. Oh, 
behind the revs, keep it in boost. Wow. <laughs> it's a completely different car. Oh, I have lots and lots of steering. Lots of steering angle. My driving line isn't amazing here. Well, I'm just trying to test everything at the moment. That is mad. It's just mad how 15 grand worth of upgrades actually changes the car so much. This is brilliant to drive. No competition car or anything like that for like, you know, drift score. But it's a nice, clean, smooth car to drive. It's quick. It actually does have grip as well. I think those back tires are, are fat. I think they're really fat. I wonder if it says it on me. I can't remember if it does or not. I'm gonna finish off this with what? 350,000 points? 353,000 points. Mad. Yeah, the tires on the back end of this thing look look kind of wide. Um, will it say? I don't think it will. I don't think Force is that that detailed. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's that detailed. I think if I go into my uh, my upgrade shop, it'll, it'll probably tell me. Okay, I'm gonna mess with a tune on this thing a little bit, and then I'll come back and see if I can get it to drive a little bit better. Well, I didn't change much, just a tiny bit of the camera and tow. So I should be able to have just a tiny bit more angle, I think. But I should still be able to push myself a little bit more in and out of corners. I guess shouldn't have slowed down that much, but it's fine because it's the pitch up speed anyway. Here, I actually do need to slow down a little bit because I, I can't go, I can't go much wider here. As good as this car is, it's still lacking power. Not like it's lacking power to be able to put myself at a specific angle and keep a wide line through some of these corners. If that makes sense. Like, obviously, if I reduce the angle, I'll still be able to go sideways around the corner. I just won't have, you know, as much angle. I really like this thing. What a smooth car. With only 15k worth of upgrades as well. Like It's nice. Again, as usual, there are some cars in this series where I absolutely despise just the way they build. I mean, I only got a couple more points. I think with more driving on this thing, I'll be able to to do better. But it's it's really good to drive. I like it. Again, like I said, with some cars, especially with a low budget like this, I think I'd be struggling a lot. But uh, with this M5, I uh, 
I liked it. It was, it was easy. It's easy to upgrade this thing and get it to be good with such a low amount of money. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, as usual, don't forget to subscribe. Like me. Like me. Like the video. Not me. Follow me, though, on other social media uh, places. Links to those are down below. Twitter, Instagram, Reddit. All of that stuff is all down below. You guys can go ahead and, and follow me there. And also subscribe to my second channel. I'm trying to get the second channel to grow a little bit more this year. And I'm going to continue to upload videos there. So... Yeah, if you guys want to see more content and slightly varied content that isn't all just racing, um, yeah, go ahead and subscribe to that channel as well. But yeah, that's going to be it. Again, thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.